including a message of thanks from a coronavirus patient to those who took care of him at the Cleveland Clinic. But we begin with details and what you heard the president talk about a second ago, that $2 trillion agreement in Washington that will put money directly in the hands of many Americans. Mark Nemec tells us how it may affect you. The deal, reached after midnight, provides relief to workers and businesses hit hardest by the economic fallout of the pandemic. Still being debated, but expected to win approval of the U.S. House and Senate, the $2 trillion deal would give $1,200 to Americans earning less than $75,000 a year and an additional $500 per child. There's uh, a lot of good news in the package, but there's still some gaps. So we know that this is impacting low-wage workers the hardest, folks that are food service providers, cashiers, uh, people that are working in retail. Ohio has higher than average income requirements needed to qualify for unemployment benefits. Under the federal deal, those laid off workers would see their unemployment checks grow by $600 a week. It also extends benefits to workers not typically covered, like freelancers. For those who are able to get it, it's going to feel a lot more like real wage replacement and that's going to help people pay bills, buy groceries. The deal, the largest economic aid package in American history, offers more than $360 billion of loans to small businesses and creates a $500 billion loan fund for corporations, cities, and states. Also, more than $100 billion for hospitals, testing and treating coronavirus patients and running out of supplies. Where are we on that? Beds, we may need 140,000. We have 53,000. With 60,000 Americans testing positive for the virus, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell called the deal a wartime level of investment into our nation. A fight has arrived at our shores. We did not seek it. We did not want it. But now we're going to win it. Mark Namick, 3 News.